I think you've got all the answers. <laughs> well, obviously you all don't speak racist. <laughs> And I know tricks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I talk to Corino all the time. Every day. It's very hard to shut him up. <laughs> and uh, from the old cast, I also talk to Jack Grimes with Sparky and Jim Jim. <clears throat> uh, he's up. His health isn't too good. He smoked. So won't they. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't tell that about speed. <laughs> but there are a few things about speed that I've never told. But I can tell now. When I, when I was doing the series, I was about the most wanted man in New York City for traffic tickets. I mean, for parking tickets. <laughs> really, I... Somebody had put a lot on my car uh, when they borrowed it for two weeks and left it parked in front of a hospital. I finally got the car back. It was festooned with parking tickets. So after that, I figured, well, I got this many. I'll drive and park wherever I feel like. <laughs> Which I did. And, uh, but a friend of mine got caught for doing something like that. So he introduced me to a lawyer called Paul G. Love. This whole true story. Paul had written a book, How to Beat a Traffic Ticket. So I put him on a retainer. I said, I may get caught one of these days. Well, sure enough, I was. And uh, they caught me with 387 uh, tickets to my name. <laughs> so uh, I called Paul. He got me out on bail at the end of the day. But before that, I'm sitting in the courtroom waiting to go before the judge. And this young gal sits next to me. And we chit chat. I think she's there to get fined or something. And that was the end of it. Turns out she was a reporter. Yes, so fortunately I said I was a writer from Pennsylvania. Uh, and I, I was living in Pennsylvania. No. Anyway, to sort of make a, a long story longer, uh, the, uh, the tickets that uh, Paul G. Love or against said, if you ignore this parking ticket, a warrant may be issued for your arrest. His point was, how can you arrest a car? It has to be a person. So, he felt that that was unfair to people. He said, the only way that we can beat this is you have to go into criminal court. Now, all this I'm writing to Steve Racer at the time and doing recording. He says, you'll have to go into criminal court. Uh, so that it's staying out of traffic court. That means, he said, you're going to have to spend the night in jail. At your convenience. <laughs> so, okay, I faced that. And I did that. And it was brought before a criminal judge. And the lawyer, my lawyer, made his point. So the judge said, well, this deserves a trial. He says, I'm going to put it off for a year. I want every policeman and ticket mate who's written a ticket against this car has to be a witness against this man. <laughs> so, I faced a year hence, 387 witnesses against me. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my lawyer said, now when this comes up at trial, disappear. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? They'll, they'll be after me. He says, I know. So sure enough, the trial went on for three days. Channel 5 in New York said every day, well, once again, the elusive Mr. Fernandez has failed to show. So therefore, 98 warrants have been issued for his arrest. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> I obviously did not drive around New York City that week. Uh, anyway, the upshot of it was that uh, I had 300 and some odd warrants for my arrest. And the lawyers said to me, just don't drive carefully, okay? And it's gonna go away, and it did. And what happened was, New York City changed its parking tickets. It no longer said a warrant, maybe you should put your arrest. It said, 
Uh, a lien may be put against your property, or your salary may atta be attached. Things like that. So in effect, speed change the parking ticket rules of New York City. 